Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm looking at the possibility that Amazon's proprietary chip business is a threat to Nvidia's GPU dominance. Let's jump into it. So Amazon recently hosted their reInvent conference for AWS and Matt Garman, the CEO of AWS, made some interesting comments. Here's a clip to get us rolling. Now in 2018, we saw a trend in compute. We were looking out there and we saw that ARM cores were getting faster. Most of them were in mobile, but they were getting more powerful. And we had this idea that there's this opportunity that maybe we could go combine that technology curve with our knowledge of what's most important to customers running inside of AWS and develop a custom uh, general purpose processor. Now at the time, this was a very controversial idea, right? Because that seems crazy that we would go develop our own silicon. But we were pretty convicted that we could deliver really differentiated value to customers, and so we dove in and we launched Graviton. Fast forward to today, Graviton is widely used by almost every AWS customer out there. Graviton delivers 40% better price performance than x86. It uses 60% less energy. That is fantastic. So here Matt is painting the picture that starting in 2018, Amazon started building ARM silicon into AWS. And here we are six years later and Intel, the main driver behind x86 and competitor to ARM is in serious jeopardy. Intel's fired their CEO, they've laid off workers and the future is very uncertain for Intel. And just for good measure, Matt goes on a little bit more to talk about just how much the Graviton ARM-based compute service business has grown for Amazon. Here's a quick clip. And Graviton is growing like crazy. Let's put this into context. In 2019, all of AWS was a $35 billion business. Today, there's as much Graviton running in the AWS fleet as all compute in 2019. It's pretty impressive growth. So clearly in just a few years, call it a half decade or so, Amazon has made significant inroads on Intel's x86 dominance. And here we are in 2024 and AWS US is about four years into its effort to build its own AI focused GPU chips called Tranium and Inferentia. Should we expect the same pattern to repeat? In a couple more years, should we expect Nvidia to be challenged by Amazon in the GPU space? Here is Matt introducing the latest version of Amazon's GPU chips. And today, I'm excited to announce the GA of Tranium 2 powered TRN2 instances. Now, Tranium 2 instances are our most powerful instances for generative AI, all because of these custom built processors completely built in house by AWS. Now, Tranium 2 delivers 30 to 40% better price performance than current GPU powered instances. 30 to 40% better. That is performance that you cannot get anywhere else. TRN2 instances have 16 Tranium 2 chips that are all connected by a high bandwidth, uh, low latency interconnect, so we call Neuralink. And a tra one Tranium 2 instance will deliver 20.8 petaflops from a single compute node. Now to be fair, Amazon did announce some new instances coming soon with Nvidia's latest and greatest chips and talked about how they are deepening their relationship with Nvidia. But he also announced new EC2 Ultra servers that connect four Tranium 2 instances for a total of 64 Tranium 2 chips. So yeah, full speed ahead on GPU development at AWS. So I'll wrap up with this. There's a ton of discussion about the future of AI and which companies are gonna win and which companies are gonna lose. I'm reminded that during the California gold rush uh, 100, 150 years ago, that the best business was not mining or prospecting for gold, but rather selling the tools and supplies to those people that were prospecting and mining for gold. And that's where Amazon sits right now. With AWS, they will gladly rent you or sell you the hardware your AI company needs. And NVIDIA is similarly situated. They are selling the tools to the miners in this analogy. But Amazon is a bit more diversified. They sell pickaxes, lanterns, buckets, ropes, while NVIDIA only sells pickaxes. So to me, once again, I think Amazon's in a superior position to NVIDIA and should do well regardless of what direction AI takes. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.